again. It's good to be back. It's been quite a while since I've done a video in this series, and so I thought it would be good to start with something light that I talk about ripsticks. Now, if you are one of the three people on earth who doesn't know what a ripstick is, I've got one right here. Okay, this is my ripstick. It's blue. I like blue. And it's got two places to put your feet, here and here. And it's got two wheels, not four like a skateboard. And the wheels are on casters, okay? So the wheels can go 360 degrees about this axis. Got this fuzz on it there. And can go obviously can go 360 degrees about this axis. And there's another degree of freedom in here as well. This, these two, uh, I don't know, foot pads, I guess we'll call them, can also rotate. If you can see there, I'm rotating them. They rotate about this axis with, uh, with respect to one another. So dynamically, this thing's pretty complicated, right? A lot different than a skateboard. Okay, here's my skateboard. Okay, I've got, I've got the, an X-Wing fighter on the front, and I've got a cat in the back, so that's how you can tell it's really cool. Um, I'm not even sure if cool is the word for cool anymore, but this is my attempt. It's got four wheels, all right? These wheels only rotate about one axis. They do have a, a, a pivot axis here, so as I lean, these two things turn. This, this uh, axis turns that way, and that, that axle will turn that way. But much, much more simple, much uh, more basic operational principle here. I learned to ride one of these things when the kid next door across the street left one in our front yard. So I hopped, you know, I did what anybody would do, and I hopped on it and found out I could ride it. Um, so what's going on here is the, the dynamics of this are extremely uh, subtle. Whoever invented this was just brilliant in my opinion. Okay? In order to make this thing ride, I need to do two things. I have to have force and I have to have control. Okay? Anybody who's ever tried to make a model airplane knows that those are, those are the two things you need for that as well. Um, so I need to be able to generate a force that way and I need to be able to stay upright. That is, I need to be able to balance on these two wheels. Okay, and uh, that's pretty hard to do. And the way you do this is that the rider, who by the way is not in contact with the ground, rotates. Okay, now I can only see the top of me in this video, but if I'm riding a ripstick, I'm going to be sitting here doing this. Okay, I am generating a moment. My feet on the floor right now aren't sliding across the floor, so what's going on is when I do this, I am generating a moment. Or a, a, well, yeah, I'm generating a moment, but a, a force fore and aft on each foot, and it alternates sinusoidally pretty much. Okay? The dynamics of this thing are that it takes that force, and by the rotations of these wheels and the angles that are, that are uh, in play here, what I get is a net force forward. Now, it's very hard, as far as I know, impossible, to ride one very straight. You have to do this pretty close. Now go find some nine-year-old who's ten times better at it than I'll ever be. Um, but as I go back and forth like this, I'll, I'll basically make a sinusoidal path down the hallway. I can, uh, by taking the moment that I'm uh, applying to the ripstick, the wheels turn about a couple of different axes. The vector sum of all those forces is forward. So. One thing to talk about it, let's go try it. Okay, you can see how this thing works, right? There, there it is, it's laying down, and it uh, has to lay on, on an angle like that because it only has two wheels, it won't sit upright on its own. So if this works right, I'm gonna hop on this thing and I'm going to go down the hallway with it. You'll be able to see that rotational motion in my body and you can see how it gets converted to a forward motion as a result of a forward force on the ripstick. So let's try this. How am I doing? 
Okay, not bad for an old guy. Okay, so there you go. There's the dynamics of a ripstick, at least in its simplest form. My suspicion is that if you wanted to do a very complete analysis, you're probably in the world of vector differential equations. But for, for a start, this isn't bad. So the big idea is energy in my body is used to drive my muscles, and I start doing this. I rotate back and forth. I generate a moment. And what the, the, the uh, dynamics of the wheels on the ripstick do is they take that moment and they turn it into a net force forward as I'm riding the ripstick. So, I hope that helps. Um, I'll talk to you next time.